So last night after I finished edit a video about uh, my kids exercise, an old video that I had and I came across it and I said let me edit it and put it. So I finished edit it uh, first part of it and I, I've been thinking for a long time about putting a small little logo on the bottom left corner of my videos. I always put MA Paris Fitness and I always type it every time I do I'm editing a video. So I say I want something that uh, is uh, constant and I wanted it to be the same all the time with an image of a stick person squatting. So I drew a small little stick person squatting um, and I sort of did it on Instagram. And this morning I said, you know what, let me do it and uh, let me um, improve on that particular drawing and I already had it as a guide to go about it so I was gonna scan just the thing that I did last night then when I realized it's not you know it could be a little bit much better so I decided to do it uh, do a new one so this is how I came about it and I hope uh, that gives you an idea that you can do it yourself something similar for your whatever Enjoy the video. So I'm sitting by my desk right now. Um, for the past couple of days, I've been thinking of uh, doing a small little logo for my uh, webs, uh, not web, well, it could be for my website too, but not really, mostly for my uh, YouTube channel. Usually at the bottom uh, left corner, I put uh, the name of the my channel ma paris fitness and i feel like i need to put like a picture along with the name so it's been a while i've been thinking about it and i had an idea of what i wanted as you can see my um thumbnail for my channel is uh squatting it's um it's kind of it's not really visible but it it is someone squatting so um I didn't want to put that and 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 with with that name with MA Paris Fitness. I was thinking more of a stick person, you know. So last night before I went to bed, I was at the, the computer right here and I drew this. I'm going to post the uh I drew this that stick person uh squatting. So now this morning it's still in, in my mind and I want to make it the same type. I want to refine it a little bit. So I want to uh, draw it in a way where I'm going to scan it and then um, put it on. Um, I'm going to put it in um, what's that? Photoshop and sort of uh, tweak it a little bit and then put the, uh, type the name along with it in a better text uh, font a better uh, font so I'm gonna do that and hopefully I fast forward a little bit and I'm probably gonna do show the Instagram um, drawing that I did it was kind of hard to do it and draw at the same time so hopefully let's see if I could position this so you guys could see what I'm doing all right these are some architecture <laughs> um, papers that I told my husband to bring from work so the kids could draw in the back. So I'm going to use that to do the drawing. I don't need to use uh, brand new paper. And this is what I do too. So here's the paper. I want to do it more, hopefully come out better. I'm going to do it with pencil first and then I'm going to Okay, I'll need a smaller 
I have a smaller this and I need a better angle so I have this triangle it's kind of clear uh, all my the other uh, architecture tools are in storage so this is the only one I sort of have uh, at hand right now and I need to use this angle um, this and that so that's perfect angle to do the this oh it's too long to put this and that to make this line and that line and I probably will be able to use this to make the leg and the feet so let's see how I'm gonna and I don't even have uh, this space so I'll do it with this iron and I could always Actually, no, but no, nah, this is too straight. I don't want that angle. See, if I had my other thing where I could adjust it, I don't have it. So I'm going to do it freehand. So this is no good. This is no good. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking more of a little, see, this seems a little bit, should I use it or not? Let me do the way I was thinking. Angle sort of look good. <clears throat> Let's see. Three, so let's make this. My kids took the erasers. Okay. And then... gonna have this coming out more
I'm going to do it light first. See if I have the right angle. Very light. Sometimes things look better in your head than actually when you're doing it. See, I'm trying to see when I did it freehand. I don't know if you guys can see it. I had the right angle here, so I sort of put it high like this. So, see, this is why. my kids did with the you wait okay there it is so I need to bring it more like this again I'm gonna draw it very light Not quiet. I had it better over here. This is probably too straight. I probably should have bring it. Let's see. I have this here. Maybe a little bit more like this. Yeah, this angle, you see, I drew, it's very light, it's hard to see it. I drew this, I think this angle looks much better than that angle. So I'm going to erase the first one that I did. So I'm going to make this a bit darker. Uh, what was the ratio that I had? See, I should have done everything very light. One, two, three. So here, yeah, this angle looks much better. So it's from here. And actually this might be a bit too long. here no, I'll leave that like that for now see if I had my other things here this here that now if I need uh, I need a circle I'm gonna do that circle a small oval pretty much for the head Nothing fancy. 
Um, what do I have for a circle? I might just do it. That's it. Yep, that's my circle. Nah, I think I'm okay with this now. I'm gonna darken it. There it is. And here there will be a little and you will not see it. Oh actually you might see it coming out here. There. This is it. And now I'm gonna scan it. Okay, I have that's my other computer. Gonna scan it. And then I'm gonna put it in my scanner. Oh shit. I didn't even, I pressed scan already. Alright, let's stop it. Cancel, cancel, cancel. I forgot. I had it ready for a while. Gonna put it. Now I'm going to scan it. There it is. Oh. Now I need to save it. just put it here for now I'm gonna put stick squat okay save it there it is it's saved now I'm gonna go to my other computer and get it because we have a network here open Photoshop and uh, I have something here where I said logo where did I put it 
you know I'm gonna put it on social media because I always open this whenever I where is it does my stick squat this is it right here all right not the best one but that's what I did drag it here there it is so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just cut this part the width should I do? Let's lift the width like that. Maybe paste. Alright, so now you know what I could do also? This is okay. I want it more darker. The circle is not that perfect. I don't want to mess it up. All right? So this and I make it thicker. of this um, a pass fitness let's see if I could look for a different font Maybe I'll do one black, one in white. Hmm. Let's look for a different font. Sort of like this one, but not quite sure. What font do they have? I want something thick. I like the other one better. I sort of like this one. This one or that one. If I do this one, I have to reduce the front. Maybe 12. 10 maybe. Still? Oh man. It's gonna be 100. Mm. 
this. I need a clear background. I'm gonna save it. Where am I gonna save it? On social. PNG squad. Let's say. B L K for black. Save. And I'm going to do another one. Uh, it's already 14 minutes. I'm going to fast forward it. So that's the black one. Now I'm going to copy this. Copy. I'm going to make a new text. Close this one. Actually, let's leave it on so I see you. Text. B. Oops, Z, new one, text, V, put it here, let's edit it, make it white, A, color, white, it's hard to see. Turn the other one on. Maybe I'll put that in. See, now looking at this, that looks pretty good. I'll put one in front. Maybe the white. Uh, no, when the white is in front, it looks better. So let's do that. That looks pretty good. This looks good. this in there, get this, copy, oh there it is, save that photoshop file, and there it is, so whenever I do right, I'm gonna save it as I guess, let me do it save as jpeg out let's see i have this project i was working on and i'm actually going to do a part 2 of it Let's see if I put it in here. Image. Let's bring it in here for testing. Let's bring the JPEG here. Or is it Stickman? That's just for testing purposes. There it is here. See, I don't like this. Okay. So let me bring the other one. This is what I was afraid, the white background. So I wanted, let's see, PNG one. Is that one? Yeah, that one. 
let's see what happened I'm gonna put both next to each other yeah so there it is that's the one I want I don't know if you guys can see it let me see it's sort of you see this here so when I'm going to edit my thing when I put it on my stuff now there's a small problem here actually not fully small problem but let's see if I could what's the best way to do it I'm not that good at it here then I'll put it right here usually I type this let's zoom in a little bit so it's kind of hard to see let me put it here it's kind of okay there it is focus 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 okay so this is the video I just did so what I want is every time I'm instead of me typing this because I type that every time I'm doing my thing and put it at the bottom of the screen and I want this so this is gonna be there every time on my videos so there this video I actually just uploaded I just uploaded it on YouTube. That's this one right here. Um, I call it, I'm probably going to rename it. So it's Kids Home Fitness Part. Actually, that should be, yeah, Part 1. That's for this particular date. Let me put the date in the back. X. Um, should I put parenthesis? Put that I'm gonna remove the zero that remove the zero also for spacing so on the part two it will be in it that logo I just did let's put part one cut paste Space. yeah so that's this the part one is not gonna be in it so in part two I'll have that at the bottom I don't know if I should reduce this it seems too big I don't know if it's distracting think 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 or maybe I will I'll change this and put make it white maybe I'll do another version make it white Let's do that. See how it is. Testing, testing. All right. So I'm gonna go back to Photoshop. <sighs> how will I do this? I'm gonna duplicate that. Let's make it. I'm gonna call it white. And this, the first one, I'm gonna call it black. I don't know if you guys could see it. It's right here. I'm naming the thing. So I'm going to turn off black. And white, which is the one I'm going to be working on. Okay. So I'm going to select it. Um, let's turn all of these off. Control A. Select. Inverse. Oh, what happened here? Nothing is selected. All right. This I will have to do. Not that there's couple I haven't used this in a while, so there's a couple things command I sort of forgot. Okay, so here I'm gonna do inverse select and I'm gonna change the color insert fill color color pattern. We're gonna make it white. You haven't. You're not gonna see it right now because it's uh, everything is gonna be what is it clear in the background. You sort of see it. I don't know if you guys 
so to see it. So what I'm going to do, the thing that I realize in this, see how big this is? I'm going to reduce that slightly. I'm going to reduce the scale. So while I'm at it, edit, transform scale, I'm going to reduce it. I don't know the best way to do it, but this, make it here. Enter. Move it in the center. I'm gonna reduce it some more. I should like keep. You know what? Okay, let's reduce it. Right now, I'm just eyeballing. There's no particular scale I'm looking for there. And now I'm gonna turn on the text. Right. And I'm going to move it a little bit more in the middle. Actually, while I'm doing that, I'm thinking of doing another stick person where you're looking at them from the front. Where, for instance, if you're looking at it from the front, let me draw it quick. You'll see the full face. See this. And you'll see that. I will show you because the camera's pointing differently uh, let's see you're gonna see this that in my head it looks good uh, it doesn't look good right now but some uh, it's still okay. well never mind so let's focus on this for now um should I increase this? It's probably hard to see because the thing is uh, kind of white in the background. So it's when I put it on the thing, uh, on the uh, editing thing, you might be able to see it. So I'm going to save it uh, as clear because the clear one look much better. JPEG, um, not JPEG, PNG. And why does it go to this? Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna call it, what is it? MA Plastic Scratch Shadow. I'm gonna call it 2. Save the name, but make it 2. Okay. So now I just saved it. I'm gonna bring it into this so we could see the difference this two right here bring it in here as image uh, where's the name I think, yeah this is it so we're gonna see the difference here you see now it's white you could see it much better unlike that one There it is down here. You know what? Let me bring this one back in so you could see. I'm gonna erase it anyway, so it's not like so you guys could see the two differences. There's the white one, there's the black one. Aha, not that one. I want the clear background. So this one is out. Delete. And I'm gonna delete this. That's JPEG. Delete. Yes. And I think it's this one that I was looking into. Yeah, there's the black, clear black, um, black background with the shadow. And there's this one. The white with the shadow. So there it is right on top of each other. And I'm going to bring this right next to it so you guys could see what I meant because I don't want it to take over the uh, the thing so that's a little bit better because I didn't want this to be as big as that so what I did I went in Photoshop reduced the, the scale of this this one that the thing is pointing at and which I did here and I make it in and I didn't like the black one in here so I make it white and I kept the font as is. I'm going to put it on top of that mat so you guys could see the difference. Oops. Up. Side. Maybe I'll bring the other one there. 
So I'm gonna do the same thing for this, the one that I did that first, select it, bring it here. So you see, so this be a little bit too big for this, for the video. So when I have this, see, even at the same scale, um, the font remain the same, but this sort of, I reduce the scale of the little stick person squatting. So yeah, I think I'm sticking with that one, the white one. The black one, I could do another black version of this. So when I go back to Photoshop, I just change the color of this and keep everything the same. But this one, I'm going to delete it. Actually, let me do it now. What did I call it? There's the white one. Is this one I'm going to keep. And this one, I'm going to delete. You know what? I'm going to save it. Mm, should I? You know, I'm just going to keep it here in this folder. I'm not going to delete it yet. This one I could delete. Is JPEG with the white background. It take over the picture the image so this I'm gonna delete there's the delete here bam do I want to delete it yes so now if you know while I'm here let me just show you how I'm gonna do it on Photoshop go to Photoshop so here this is already selected and uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna copy it copy copy and uh, paste okay I just did it just from copy and paste there's the white one I'm gonna close this one that's the one that's already in even though it's still showing here because I just copy it I'm gonna call this black too or maybe black ah uh, that's fine black too so i'm gonna select that Control a and then from Control a i'm gonna do select inverse inverse uh then do it all right no time to learn i'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way select everything everything right uh, and from the head and then here I'm gonna do select inverse there it is it's selected and I'm gonna change the color edit where is it fill color and I'm gonna do black okay okay there it's the same size as the other one and I'm gonna save it also file save as and I'm gonna pick PNG to have the clear background what did I call the other one stick shadow I'll rename it again um, right now since I want to do this let's call it three for now S okay Okay, so now I just did it. I'm gonna bring the version of this in black. This is what I just did here. So go to this. Okay, where is it? Black. See, that's the name I did. Insert. Close that. Uh, there it is in here drag it I'm gonna put it right on top of this so we all see the difference and I did reduce the white one at 37 percent I have to make sure I select the white one and motion oh that's not what I want okay here 37 percent there it is I don't know if you guys could see it I'm gonna bring it right next to the other one see same scale if I put it over it you're gonna see it's gonna be exactly the same thing see it now that I think about it sometime I could actually put both of them like that there it is 
Maybe I'll do that. That looks good. So that you will be seeing from now on in all of my um, videos at the corner. So I just did it. Show you guys how I did it. So that's it. And actually, I'm going to keep these two together. I'm going to group it. Because there's another video, the second part of this video. I'm going to continue it. And uh, I'm going to use the same file here, uh, the editing file, to continue it. And lately my computer has been getting kind of uh, full and I'm probably going to delete this after I do. Alright, so that's it. I'm going to upload this right now. Thanks for watching. That's how I just did my logo.